hello everyone welcome to another video so today we are going to discuss about a very interesting and very important topic that is related to your job interview so this is the first step or this is the primary step that you have to perform or you have to do if you are going for an interview or if you are preparing for any kind of jobs so basically we are talking about the resume and uh, resume preparation so basically resume is the mirror of yourself if it is coming uh, to if we come to the uh, let's say job interview and job selection process so this is definitely this is a mirror so it will reflect all of your work experience and all of your uh, uh, like um, knowledge and everything it should reflect so that's why we are going to discuss today the topic of resume preparation how you should prepare the resume and uh, what should be the content what you should include what you should not include and um, what is the proper format that everything we are going to discuss it today so stay tuned till last of this video you will find very informative session or you will find very much knowledge that will be required for making or preparing a resume so so what is a resume so basically resume is a mirror of yourself like as i have said it is a mirror of yourself so normally it will show whatever things you have done in your career let's say you are a experienced professional or you are a fresher graduate so for everyone resume will say what is your uh let's say what you have done or what is your career or what is your experiences everything will be shown in your resume so that's why resume is very important to get a job or either to get a uh, interview schedule it is very much important if your resume is perfectly fits to the job or fits for the job then definitely you will be getting a call from the hr for the interview scheduling most of the people you are, might have complained there are no jobs are there or we are not getting enough calls so if you are not getting enough calls that is like there is something some issue with your resume there is no issue with the job openings there are job openings are there right now i can see i can hear uh, there are many people who are saying there are no openings are there uh, rather i can see there are many openings right now are there for sap if i say about the sap uh, platform we can see there are many openings are there still people are complaining that uh, there are no jobs are there for fresher people it is a different kind of thing but for experienced people it is definitely the market is open so better you have to look into your inside rather than you have to look into the company's profile okay companies are not taking you rather than you can you have to look into your profile what is lacking what is lacking in your resume so that is what you have to look into so first we will see what should be a resume format okay so for the experienced people so normally for the experienced people your resume should start with the summary section okay it should start with the summary section summary section should not be more than 10 points so in that 10 points you have to write down an overview of your total resume okay so maybe your resume is of three pages four pages five pages doesn't matter but you have to summarize all of your experiences in that 10 liner summary so if you are a experienced professional don't write any kind of uh, like career objective or anything don't write anything in the starting starting you have to write a summary in that summary you have to mention your experiences you have to mention your projects you have to mention your working area what kind of area you have worked on so those kind of things you have to mention and uh, then if you have any certifications done so those kind of things should be included in your summary section so first one should be your summary section profile profile summary so in that summary you have to summarize your experiences or your work so whatever things you have learned whatever things you have known whatever things you have worked so everything should be in the summary section so that whenever a hr or any uh, let's say a recruiter is going to look into your resume they don't have to uh, turn down the pages they just have to look into the first section and they will be know yes this guy is a 
perfect fit for us so after that what you need to write so after the summary section directly you have to write your experiences because if you are an experienced professional so your experiences will be count other than that your academics your uh, uh, let's say achievement that will not matter rather than your uh, what will matter that is your work experience so next should be your work experience so whatever works work experience you have one year six months um, ten months five months whatever experience you have you have to write it down over there first you have to make like I can see many of the people many of the who say that I am a fresher but they are already having some job experience but they are not mentioning it before that they are experience uh, they, they are mentioning their uh, like knowledge what kind of knowledge they have or uh, let's say uh, they are mentioning whatever uh, uh, educational qualification they have they, they are writing those kind of things but those kind of things are um, it doesn't matter as a experience candidate so if you have six months uh, one year or any kind of experience let's say how lesser also you have the experience you have to mention it in the starting after the summary you have to write it down the um, like uh, you have to write it um, write down the work experience after the work experience you can go for the educational qualification so in the educational qualification you can write it down whatever education you have you have to write it after that you can go for the personal section like in the personal uh, section you can just mention what is your name what is your address or whatever things are there in the uh, personal section you can write it down let's say uh, any kind of uh, uh, don't write the personal information let's say your mother's name your pan card number your uh, uh, let's say passport number don't write these kind of information in the resume so if someone is asking you so if uh, the recruiter if or uh, let's say the hr is asking you this kind of information you can give it to them there is no issue in that but don't write these kind of things in the resume itself okay so last thing is the declaration part so definitely you should write a declaration so declaration means that whatever things you are writing that is correct okay so declaration definitely you have to write it down so this is for the uh, experience professionals okay so next one is for the beginners so who are the just graduate they they don't have any kind of experience okay so what you can do first thing you can write a career objective so you can write like whatever career objective is your objective is like you want to work in a sap sector you want to work with sap technology or whatever technology you have you can write it down like i want to work in these kind of profiles so you have to write a uh, you have to write a uh, career objective so for fresher career objective is a must that is a must you have to write so after the career objective so you can go for either if you have any kind of let's say internship you have done any kind of summer courses you have done like let's say any kind of work that will add some value to your resume so those kind of things you have to write it down like i have done the i have undergone this kind of internship or i have done this kind of uh, let's say any kind of uh, um, let's say trainings or anything you have done so you have to write it down after that you have you can go for the educational qualification like whatever qualification you have you can write it down so before that or after that you can write it down let's say you have trained in sap mm or you have trained in sap any uh, module you are trained in or any kind of other technology you are trained in so you can write the uh, like whatever trainings you have undergone you can write it down before the educational qualification or after the educational qualification that don't uh, matter that much so you have to write it down after that you can write your uh, uh, let's say you can write your uh, personal uh, things so let's say any kind of hobbies or anything is there so you can hobbies or interest you can write it down but that will not add uh, many any uh, let's say value to your resume but if you are interested you can write okay so last section will be your uh, declaration section so that you definitely need to write so that is what should be your content of your resume so for professionals working professional and for the freshers that should be your um, like it should be your uh, structure of your resume okay so this is the second thing so there is a third thing is also there so it is not like that uh, every uh, like a single resume will fit 
everywhere that is not the scenario so you have to customize your resume as per the job description so so whenever you are going for uh, going to uh, let's say uh, uh, Nokri uh, segment or if you're going to Nokri site or you are going to any other job sites or you are going to LinkedIn there is some job postings are there there will be some job description will be there so just uh, check the job description there they will be uh, writing like whatever candidates how uh, the candidates they are looking for what are the um, let's say criteria of their uh, uh, selection so they will be writing the job description so in that they will be mentioning let's say p2p cycle experience let's say must have experience on inventory management must have experience in the lsmw process must have uh, ex um, exposure to s4 hana uh, projects must have handled the s4 hana clients or uh, let's say or uh, let's say they are saying uh, like must have experience to the pricing procedure must have uh, experience with the integration of uh, mm and sd if any kind of things they have mentioned so these kind of things you have to include in your resume so these kind of things you have to just write it in the uh, let's say bold letters or capital letters you have to write it down okay so let's say there is a uh, field call they in the job description they might have mentioned that uh, you must have known the integration between mm and fi so you have to just write down in a sentence like i have uh, work exposure to or i have worked in the mm and fi integration in uh, let's say account determination process i have the experience on the accounting determination process so you have to write it down like that one so just capital and make it bold so that it will be highlighted and uh, whenever the hr will be uh, let's say they are shortlisting the resume they will be finding the keywords what is required so most important is the keyword you have to write it down the write down the keywords and you have to find the keywords from the job description and you have to write it in the resume and definitely for every jobs you have to make your custom resume okay so there should be custom resumes will be made so uh, it is not like you have to totally change your resume but change some of the pointers let's say uh, they are only asking for the mrp scenario they are asking for the subcontracting scenario so you have to include those kind of things other than that you have to let's say somewhere they are not mentioning that subcontracting process so you can just uh, leave it like subcontracting process you can leave it they are asking for mrp process so you can add the mrp process uh, these are related to SAP MM only so if you are in other modules so you can just uh, make a relevance of it so you can just make a note of it and you can prepare a resume so that's it for today that is for resume preparation so this is the first thing that you are going for a interview preparation if you are preparing for an interview so um, so right now um, means uh, there is a very lot of gap between each of our videos so it will continue uh, so we are back on track so you will be finding at least weekly once or twice you will be having one one session or one one videos on any topic so might be it will be related to your interview preparation or might be it is related to your subjective topic uh, with the mm or wm whatever topics it may be so definitely you will be finding regular classes in our channel so stay tuned with the channel and please do subscribe if you are finding the channel helpful so do subscribe the channel and uh, if you like the video if you like the content please like the video and uh, that's it for today so we will meet up again in uh, next session so till then bye bye and jai hind